My family put me in here. They think it was my brother's death that made me lose it. And I honestly can't blame them. If I were my family, I would have locked me up too. I've robbed people, killed people. Hell, some of the ones I killed, I know they didn't have it coming. Oh, you think you're tough? Come on, motherfucker! Bring it! Bring it! I miss my brother. Ever since he's been gone, life hasn't been the same. I live each day with regret, wishing that he was still here. But one day, I had a visitor, and that's when everything changed. The fool said his name was Calypso. He said he ran a contest, and he wanted me to be a part of it. He said if I won, I would be able to see my brother again. He said he could bring him back. Well, I'll be damned, he knew. How the hell could he have known? Calypso said he had some wicked powers beyond my imagination. He said that resurrection was a possibility. I had spent over two years grieving over Brucey's death. He was my brother, my homie for life. If what Calypso says is true, then this was definitely something that I didn't want to pass up. How could I refuse? In the asylum, I was always messed up on some kind of weird drugs. I never really thought about what had happened to me. But now that I was out, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I began to remember what had happened that fateful night, the night that I lost my brother. It all happened a couple of years back. Me and Brucey had went to the gas station to fill his car up. We were in a bad part of the neighborhood, so I knew we had to make it quick. Brucey had gone inside to get himself something to drink. Meanwhile, I stayed outside and filled the car up. We needed the gas. But we were in the territory of a rival gang. But soon enough, I knew going to that gas station was a big mistake. As soon as Brucey had come out, one of the gang members had decided to do a drive-by. When I heard those first shots, I immediately got down on the ground. But Brucey, oh poor Brucey. Soon afterwards, the cops showed up. I couldn't believe what had just happened. My poor brother got shot and killed, and it was all my fault. The cops didn't seem to give a damn about my dead brother. They were more worried about the gas pumps. I kind of lost it. And that's when I decided to take matters into my own hands. So I went on a rampage. I spray painted Brucey's car. I was on the hunt to find the person who murdered my brother. I quickly became a known street thug in Harbor City. I had robbed and killed so many people. Hell, I've nearly lost count. Please, God. You want to meet God? Well, please don't. Eventually, I did manage to find the punk who killed my brother on that fateful night, and I made short work of him. Oh, you think you're tough? Come on, motherfucker! Free! Free! Ah! But even after I had gotten my revenge, it didn't fix the pain. In fact, it made it worse. I was still without a brother, and not having him around was honestly one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever endured. Eventually, my family decided it would be for the best to lock me up in Blackfield for psychiatric treatment. I was so torn up over Brucey's death that I lost myself in the process. I really want to see my brother again, and Calypso promises he can do that for me. All I have to do is win his contest. As long as he ain't playing around, then now's my chance to bring Brucey back from the dead.
in violation of Midtown City Code 4432. Step out of your vehicle and surrender peacefully. Time's up. I had won the contest. And now, it was time to see if the rumors were true. Could Calypso really bring my brother back from the dead? Or was he just some sick punk trying to play games with me? Oh, you think you're tough? Come on, motherfucker! Free! Free! As it turned out, Calypso was a man of his word. I got my prize, all right? I couldn't believe it. It really was Brucey looking good as new, like nothing ever happened. Hey, bro, it's been a while. Calypso had done it. I don't know how, but he'd done it. I never thought it could be like this. Calypso thanked me for being such a great contestant. He sent me and Brucey on our merry way. He also told us that we were more than welcome to enter next year's contest, as it was going to be held in Harbor City. And then he waved goodbye. Come on, bro. Let's get out of here. We went outside. I knew Brucey wasn't going to like what I did to Thumper. Yo, what the hell did you do to my car? Look, Brucey, I've got a lot of explaining to do. You're damn right. How long was I gone? You were dead for two years, Brucey. Wait, really? I was dead? Huh, how come I don't remember it? Beats the hell out of me. Ah, whatever. Come on, bro. Let's get back to the hood. Hey, before we get back, let's get my car resprayed. And so, the Cochran brothers were back together again. I was so relieved to have Brucey back. And now that the competition was over, the bridge to Harbor City had opened back up. It was time to go back home and start a new chapter of our lives. Me and Brucey were going places. And ain't no punk was gonna stand in our way. <laughs>